Well, everyone, I just got done filming a video for my channels and I want to clean up. I have laundry to do and I thought I would take you along on my day. And well, we'll see what we work on today. One of the things that's been extremely helpful for me is when I work on a project, I clean that project up before I start on another one. I'll be the first one to admit to you, when I'm working on projects, since I'm older, things really overwhelm me quick. Much quicker than they did before. When I had three small children, I hardly ever got overwhelmed. And now all of a sudden, I do get more overwhelmed. And that means I have to think and I have to work smarter, not harder. And somebody told me that saying one time and that really stuck to me. Work smarter, not harder. laundry going so I'll have to hang that out and I have a few other things I have to do but I'm hoping to get it all done by lunchtime I have my solar units out we have Sun finally we're supposed to get a lot of snow so I'm really excited about that another tip for all of you guys don't throw your glass jars away so this had some kind of uh, seasoning in it I think it was hot sauce this is what I use for my dish soap my dish I can never say it right my dish soap is the same as my laundry soap believe it or not it's what I use for everything so these glass bottles are amazing ketchup bottle a glass would be great for this no matter how much they try to capture the scent of laundry. Nothing's like hanging it outside. Hey, if you can't have a clothesline, get one of them drying racks. They're amazing. I know lots of people who, hang, who use their drying racks for all their clothing. Lots of times on this channel, you're going to see some of the ending of the days I had on my other channel. Filming almost 14 videos a week is really tiresome. So what I'm doing is, when I'm done with my main videos, I will stop the film for my main channel and I'll turn the film on for all of you. So really what you get to see is the real life of me and in the main channel, it's more condensed version. Most of the times what people see on my videos, it's just a small portion of my life. After I turned off the camera, hubby said, hey, do you wanna go along? Let's do some errands. And those meant that we had to go about 45 minutes away from home. So we went on for some errands and 
there's a little plain Mennonite bookstore called the Clay Bookstore. That was a childhood bookstore of mine. I love going there and it was only about a mile from my parents' home. So growing up, I was used to this bookstore and I've done many videos sharing with you about the Mennonite bookstore. Here's one video if you wanna see it, but I wanted to still get on camera. It's evening now and I want to show you what I got which was so much fun because I don't get there often, maybe once or twice a year at the most. Really, I don't go there often. So their prices are high, but they have really, really neat things. And well, I just love the old bookstore. So for $1, I got cake in a jar. So we can make a whole bunch of recipes with that. And then for $2.50, I did get this, iron-on transfers. They're homemade and they are scripture and they're very plain Mennonite. So we will be making a lot of tea towels using these. So I got that. Now this was expensive, it was $5. But it is antique, it's very old. And it's all kinds of things about homemaking. And that is something that I really enjoy. And it's all about what is a woman? And here's all the things that a woman is. And what is a homemaker? And oh my word, it's just absolutely amazing. So it's a little bit of everything. It's for the newlywed homemaker. And it has all kinds of crafts, all kinds of cooking. With love and a pinch of salt. I'm gonna go ahead when I turn the camera off, I'm gonna research her name and see if she's got other cookbooks or other books as well. Really like it. And then they always give the free Mennonite calendars. So these are really, really neat. They have the scriptures on them. One dollar. One dollar. And then I got the Amish pamphlet, Amish books of family life. Now somebody bought me this and I had a two year subscription and that expired years ago but they're only 25 cents each. And I think that's nice. At least they don't have them high priced. And these are the Amish family life. So I got $2 worth. So there you go, everyone, is a little bit of my haul where I went to the bookstore. And I'm gonna turn this camera off and I'm going to not do anything the rest of the day and relax and read this book. And you're going to learn a lot through this book on this channel because we're going to do a lot of things about homemaking and it's going to be so much fun. Bye everybody.